Hi, welcome to Civil Skills PSTA. This edition. In this edition, I will explain how to calculate quantities by long or short term method. You know, in estimating and costing, first you have to calculate different quantities of atoms of proposed work. Here you see I draw a plan and typical section of a structure, two room structure. Room 1 and room 2. This is a load bearing structure. There are different types of structures in this session. I will explain in two roomed load bearing structure. So how to calculate quantities of different atoms. First you read, observe the plan and section carefully because it is required to take exact dimensions from the drawing. Room 1, room 2, size of room 1 3 meter by 4 meter, size of room 2 4.5 meter by 4 meter. In section you see width of excavation is 1.2 meter. This is UCR footing having width 0.90 meter, plinth wall having width 0.60 meter and above you see brick wall in superstructure. Here is the atom DPC means damp proof coats. It is required in load bearing structure. So how to calculate, how to proceed? First of all, you have to find center to center lengths. You see, these red figures are shown. This red line is a center line. So from this line, to this line, how much is the length? Width of wall is 0.23 meter. Half of 0.23, it comes 0.115 meter. So 0.115, this length 3 meter, 0.23, this wall, then this length 4.5 meter. Again, half of this wall 0.115. It comes 7.96. So, this point to this point center line length is 7.96 meter. Now, you determine the center line length of short wall. This is a long wall. This is a short wall. So, 4 meter plus half wall and half wall means 0 0.23 meter so it comes 4.23 meter so in this way you calculate the center line length then you put the exact dimensions in measurement sheet measurement form you know there are two forms are used to prepare an estimate for quantity serving, measurement sheet and to calculate cost, abstract form is used. There are two methods of quantity serving, long or short term method and center line method. In my next video, you will definitely, uh, I, I will give you center line method. How to determine quantities by using center line method. So, by sequence. You calculate the quantities. First atom, of course, excavation. Excavation for foundation. Excavation for foundation in long wall short term meter. Long walls, here is two long walls and one, two, three, three short walls. Two long walls, number. Here is the columns in measurement sheet. Atom number, 
description of atom, number, length, breadth, height or depth, quantity and total quantity. So two number of long balls. Length 9.16. How? This is 7.96 plus 0.60 on this side plus 0.60 on this side. So 7.96 plus 1.2 it comes 9.16. So this is the length for excavation for long wall. Then width of excavation of course 1.20 and depth. Depth. Here is the sign of ground level. So below 0.90 plus 0.20 thickness of PCC it comes 1.1 meter. So your depth is 1.1. Multiplying all these figures you will get the quantity of excavation for long walls 24.18 mq. Then short walls number 3 1 2 3 center line length 4.23 minus 1.2 because in long wall you consider already 0.60 and from this side 0.60. So you have to deduct the width of excavation from the short of center line length. 4.23 minus 1.23 it comes 3.03. Width 1.2, 0, depth 1.1, multiplying this you will get the quantity of excavation for short walls 11.99 and sum of these long wall and short wall Total quantity of excursion is 36.17 mq. In this way, you can calculate quantity of PCC also. Long wall, short wall. Of course, length will be the same, width same. Just record the thickness of PCC. Thickness of PCC given in section 0.20. Multiplying this, you will get the quantity of PCC. So this is the method of calculating quantities by long wall short wall method. Please if you like, like the videos and subscribe our channel Civil Skills VSTA. Thank you.